All right, guys, we're about 30 days away from the Fink Desert Race, so um, basically just trying to get everything organised and put into place where we need to and uh, make sure we're organised for the race and carry enough spare parts. So we've got all the tyres and everything changed. We've got the engine uh, still in the case at the moment. It only showed up basically two days ago, so it'll get dropped into the uh, trophy truck in the next couple of days. And then um, basically just getting all the panels back on it. We've got some new radiators in it, so the truck's pretty much pretty close. Um, we'll get it on a dyno and ready to go. And then we've got the Can-Am on this side. Um, basically we're just giving a full prep on it at the moment, just changing some oils and um, yeah, change some belts and whatnot. So it's, uh, yeah, busy times in the shop. Uh, our race fuel just got, sh just shown up. So we um, load that up in the truck and uh, yeah, not too far away. So should be good times. It's definitely a good wash. Yeah. Hmm. All spares. Very good, isn't it? <laughs> oh, well, here we are again for uh, 2022 Fink. Um, yeah, look, it's a, it's a crazy, uh, well, it's definitely a crazy race, and you've got to make sure that you uh, pack everything and take everything with you. Yeah, if you go out there and you've uh, left something behind it, uh, yeah, it can cost you a bit dearly, but um, no, we try and double check everything and go over the all the spares and our fuel and um, yeah, no, and just try and keep everything all in order and yeah, and make it, uh, yeah, so that we can get the race done. <laughs> That's the main thing. We really want to get that happening and uh, yeah, and then win of course, but yeah, that's what we do it there, that's what we're going for. Um, so yeah, first off the list for us uh, at the moment, we've got to try and get some bit of new design, new graphics. So Kawana uh, and Rap Masters are in here at the moment, and um, getting yeah, a bit of a new colour scheme. Um, we'll keep predominantly most of the blue, but uh, yeah, we'll change it up a little bit so we know from years to years what we're what we're doing and um, what year it was. So uh, yeah, boys are in on the job now and um, cleaning everything up, trying to get it all ready for. Uh, when we head to the dyno and um, see how she goes and runs its legs out there, so it's yeah, should be a good day. Uh, so this is the second year we came down for it. So we were down last year, wrapped his trophy trucks for Fink 2021, and then we're just back this year to do the 2022 season. Uh, so we've basically just added a heap of white into the back end of the tub, um, just kind of separate it from last year's, something different. We do some pretty big days and nights and just hang off a bit of Red Bull, that's pretty much it. Keep track how many zip ties I've cut off trucks in my life, head was from spinning. So my name is Brian Cassano, I come from the United States, representing Tisco Racing. Came, put the engine in this truck. And we're getting ready for the Fink Desert Race and possibly pulling off another W this year. I've never been to the Fink Desert Race before. I've, it's my first time in Australia. I've done plenty of races down in, in Mexico, United States, but this is the furthest from home I've ever been. I'm looking forward to going up to Fink, in the Northern Territory. I'm looking forward to seeing how you guys run your off-road races compared to the United States and Mexico. good then we'll start working away at it yeah so we're um, we're about five days away from uh, leaving to head out to Alice Springs for the Fink Desert race so we've um, got the truck all back together and we're down here at High Tall Performance with Kent and Dallas so um, being kind enough to let us come in early in the morning and um, we've got the guys in America at the moment tagged in on the um, on the Motec system and just doing some final checks for us and uh, 
yeah, we're gonna run her up on the dyno, see how it all goes. Fingers crossed it all goes to plan here. The, the dyno is the most nervous time of a lot of it, so uh, this will tell us if we've got any issues and any problems. So um, fingers, fingers crossed it's a good day, and um, yeah, we'll leave it up to the boys and they know what they're doing and we'll have a, have a good day. Yeah, we've um, so we've pretty much almost finished up all our testing uh, on the dyno. Everything's showing up really good um, on the dash. Um, do have like one little drama at the moment. It's just the, the shifting is not um, engaging at full throttle, and I think it's one of them races you need full throttle. So, well, uh, yeah, uh, the boys in the states now are just going to go through all the data and um, take all the log out of the uh, out of the dash and um, they're going to quickly scan it, uh, make any smaller, minor adjustments, and then um, hopefully they can do another uh, login and um, download into the dash, and then the boys can try that out and see if it makes it any better. So, um, yeah, it's hard. Like, it's, yeah, chassis dynos and uh, hub dynos are good, um, but when you get them over into the dirt, they can, it can change a little bit and, and react a little differently, so. Um, yeah, it'll be interesting once we, we do get into the dirt and just see how the whole tune and everything goes. So, it's, uh, yeah, but we're, we're looking good, so everything should be fine. And, um, yeah, we're uh, ready to load her up and get it all done. Okay, we're just uh, running through some data on the trophy truck here. Uh, make sure all the fueling's correct. Uh, so, just do some different mapping points. So, you start at three grand, at four grand, five grand, run through different TPS. So is it 30% throttle, 40%, 50? And then work our way up to wide open throttle. Uh, everything here looks pretty good. So I'd say we're done. Through that way now. Scratch up the rims. Yeah, I'll scratch some rims up. Dragging it around. And then how much land are you on? 
We're two and a half thousand square kilometres. Two and a half thousand square kilometres? Yeah, so about, about 500,000 acres. The farm chat? Almost against your Vaxon Vaxos. <laughs> Just, yeah, just bits and pieces of the truck and showing what's in it and yeah. a picture of um, you pointing at each sponsor. <laughs> <laughs> Ride the ball! Woo! <laughs> you know what I'll have to do? I'll just throw a leg over and then freaking Woo! Give me eight seconds, so I'll get the window. Yeah, yeah exactly. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> Big smile. <laughs> He's the main bad cop, good cop. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> the apprentice. <Step> <laughs> <laughs> Time's coming. We're gonna get out in the dirt and we're gonna have some fun shortly, so not much longer. Ready to shake down? Ready to shake and bake. Take the minions for a run. Because I straight on the wheel, it's going a little to the left. Yeah, because she goes down first, doesn't it? Yeah. So it's fun. So the wheel needs to go to the left for it to go straight. Right? Because if he's straight, it's going that way. I'm really excited to be back here in Australia racing. It's been two years since I was here because of the COVID, COVID stuff that was going on. They canceled it in 20 and then uh, in 21, you had to uh, quarantine for so long and I couldn't be gone for that long. I had the race in, in Baja so I couldn't go back to back. So this year it was cool that I was able to do the 500 and then hop on a plane and come out and have fun with Toby here at Fink again. And it's my first time being able to race with him in the new truck. I'm really excited and uh, I know we're going to have some fun on, on Sunday. Good? Yeah, she's caught, but once it's... Yeah. Once I've had it on a little bit, it'll be good. <laughs> Under full gas, yep. like did you hear it was like a bit of a strange like noise? It's just like the engine sounds are different, kind of. I didn't hear anything, but it doesn't feel. Did it feel like it's pulling normal? Yeah, yeah, I, yeah. yeah it's got yeah, plenty. I know it's, it's not what I'm using, I'm like, yeah, it's down just, compared yeah. to what I was just doing. Yeah, 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 shit Hold on, doing everything, it's pulling gears, it's yeah. shifting down, it's and it's like funny power. Your box is like. Masons and the extracts and some of the album, most of the albums, yeah. you can hear and they have a like a whining sound. Yeah, it's yeah. Straight cut gears. Yeah. Uh, Brian's got his good luck. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
Do you need it? up we had our track uh, we've been doing a bit of testing on but um, all shakedown went really well uh, system checks everything come through really well so we've uh, Brian's done an unreal job coming over from the States and prepping this and uh, helping us get it ready and uh, yeah having Vance here he's just gone through the computer and made sure everything's all running at, um, at temp and where it needs to be so it's been a successful day um, we've got all four wheels on it uh, and now we just got to try and get ready for prologue day so um, yeah very keen best day ever so 12 months it took to drive that thing again and um, yeah I'm stoked can't wait so we're out here out just a little bit outside of town doing a little shakedown making sure all the systems are good um, everything went well we had no issues made a couple adjustments get the thing ready for for the qualifying prologue track and uh, Tobes happy I'm happy it's got the speed it's definitely ready to go so we're gonna have some fun on uh, prologue day Keep everything nice and clean. Bit of desert, uh, desert adjustment, mate. We do a lap today and do a lap tomorrow. Honey, and then someone can bring you back without the trailer. On a dirt bike, they put that. Uh, they put the rear brake on the right hand. You know, Toby hopped on someone's bike and goes to grab the brake. Was like, whoa, what the hell was that? Can I take it? Sure. Yeah, sure. That'll work. Yeah. Good. Yeah. I look good. One shot. Yeah. Oh, one shot. Yeah. Yeah. Actually, jump back in. Pop your hat up. Hey. Can you get my face right? Show T. Look happy to be here. Better. Yeah. Nah, I'll break the lens. No, nah, never, mate. I'm still <laughs> running it. I'm trying to hang on to it as long as I can. <laughs> That's a rough edge, but it'll do. That'll do? Yeah. No, no worries. Ain't no fixing that thing. First, <laughs> <laughs> did you have the big girl out for a run? Yeah, I took the big girl out for a run yesterday. So, um, yeah. yeah, she was a. Uh, she was a bit of a rough ride. She doesn't like the whoops too much, but nah. at high speed and where it wants yeah, to go, it, it, it moves, so it does a good job, but. Hell yeah! You want me to show you my tricks? Yeah, I got it turned on. I'm in full power. You know me, boost mode. Keep up with your beast mode. <laughs> Give it off. Start, Tubbs. Come in, and you just go for it. Do a big old burnout, and then go. It pops really grab his ears. Yeah, so we're just out now. Me and Duncan doing the um, the prologue loop. So this kind of yeah, it's the main important part of the whole lot. So yeah, so we just need to make sure we um, nothing's changed in the track, and um, just yeah, dial in our lines of where we're going to kind of be and where we think we're going to drift to and stuff so it's a big part to it all but we um yeah we'll have it all uh, dialed in the test in the truck was good so truck feels nice and um we'll get ready for a, a saturday send around here full gas <laughs> that will be good right all thanks boys Yeah, he's gonna be here in a couple of minutes. Hey, <laughs> <laughs> Can I walk in? 
So excited as it took off. <laughs> hey mate, how we doing? Nice good to see you. Where are you going to um, watch the race from? Uh, about the 40 kilometre mark, I think. Yeah, nice. I'll give you a big yeah, yell. It's, it's a race, good. Ah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> there we go, look at this thing. This is a good year. Number one, this one. Thank you, have a good night. Yeah, it's good. The um, the Thursday night uh, street party is always an uh, exciting time. This is when the hype all kind of kicks in and gets going. So, big long line up here, and we're, we're going to try and get through and see everybody we possibly can. And um, yeah, it's exciting. So we got Duncan up here signing as well. So he's included on it. He makes me go fast. So it's um, yeah, good time. So we better get back to it. There's a lot of people waiting, and uh, yeah, better not take up too much of their time. Perfect. Yes, thank you. Oh, it's going well, awesome. You, the street party out here in downtown Alice, it's amazing. There's, there's dirt bikes doing backflips behind us, and there's a line out the door and around the corner here to sign autographs. So we're, we're having some fun. Everybody in there, here we go, Smalls. No, are you missing the two-wheel thing? It's killing me. What's the best thing about Toby Cross? Um, I don't know. He goes fast, so I just look up to him because I think I can go fast like him one day, hopefully. Yeah, I love his mullet. Love the mullet. Because he's loose. He just grabs the handle, let the big dog eat. <laughs> yeah, let it flat. Why is that a red mullet? Get it flapping. I reckon he's a great person in general. Like just meeting him in person is just awesome. I suppose <laughs> he's a really genuine guy. Uh, watching him on the Dakar and places like that is just awesome. I'm into bikes. You know, watching him on the car and things like that's good, but the bikes even better. Ah, oh, he's pretty cool. He's a f***ing legend. Um, I like I like his mullet and how he's from a rural town. It's pretty cool. Oh no, quick mullet's always good, and um, the car's the right colour. Can't go wrong. It was one one word, man. Legend, um, down to earth guy. It's for anyone that wins the Dakar, he's a hard worker, and you know he's just just awesome. You know. There we go. Perfect. See you, mate. Everyone? See you in the NT. Yeah, I like that. Been a busy night. We just finished up Thursday night, big sitting, and um, but now it's good. It's good to see everyone out here, and we're just as excited as what everyone else is. So uh, we're keen to get underway and get into it. So right, good to go. awesome. <laughs> uh, just doing all the notes that uh, so when we go pre-run, we mark all of the turns and all of the dangers and the rises or the crests and drop-offs and we use a numbering system to to angle our turn and to to go as fast as we can so what I'm doing is I recorded all my notes on a voice recorder I'm playing them back and typing them in the GPS so that on race day we can go as fast as we can <laughs> we'll head out to the uh, start finish line. It's where all like tech and um, contingency kind of thing is done, and basically, yeah, we had another big long night. Um, all the crowd and everyone come out there to have a look at the vehicles. This is where all the vehicles and all the motorcycles are all on display, so everyone's um, pretty excited for that. Keen to um, see what the the weekend's about to bring. So uh, yeah, we head out to close by the airport there and um, get in for the night, so it should be good. Oh, a lot of people. It's pretty busy, it's all happening now. Plenty of people to see. We, uh, we'll be ready for it, we're keen. Hey mate, how you going? Well, how are you? Good. 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 Yeah. What does Fink mean to Toby Price? It's good, just the atmosphere here is unreal and so many people travel. So long to come out here to race, so it's nah, awesome, cool.
fair few bikes, mate. Bikes is where it's at, mate. Missing this spot, it's a little different to be on the other side of the fence. One day we'll get back here. Hey, how are you doing? Good, hey. yourself? Good, you doing? Hey, how are you doing? Hey, mate, how are you going? Going on the left. All going well? How are you doing? Nice to meet you. All good? How are you going? Yeah, yep. So, uh, yeah, we're busy oh, night, uh, night, uh, <laughs> night. Uh, <laughs> Yeah, the reception has been unreal. Uh, oh, there we go. Look. Give it a Toby. Go in now, man. Appreciate it. We'll get hey, it. Mate, Right, one, two, three. We just sell the same. Oh, you can just open it. Oh, you dunk. You having the night off? Hey, yeah. Um, <laughs> Do I have the, the night, night off? off? I might jump in there here in a little bit, but. Sign a couple. Yeah, I'm giving him his time, you know. <laughs> bit, of, bit of shift work. Yeah, shift work. You don't have to take all the long, Mike. Yeah, I'll, I'll sub in for him here in a, in a little bit and let him get some pizza or take a rest for a little bit. I have not seen Dunk yet, he's hiding on me, so uh, mate, where are you at? There's plenty of people here who want to see the dirty Dunk. Well, we're getting the film, boys. I think it's Tyler. <laughs> right, boy, look. Getting videoed, bro. What's going on, boys? <laughs> <laughs> I, really I really want to meet Toby Fast, but he's got his hands full at the moment, so. Okay. He can drive, but he can't write. I can't spell my name, that is for sure. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you're a good man, Toby. I use trouble. Hey, mate, how you going? Good to see you, good to see good to see you, see you see again. Him, Down the Selby. Make sure that happens. Where he's going to watch the race from? Oh, somewhere on the track. Somewhere along the track. Yeah. Well, that is definitely good start. Somewhere along the track. Yeah. <laughs> you got a good solid mullet on you, that is sure. <laughs> a lot of mullets out here at the moment, but I might have to cut mine off. Everyone's putting me to shame. Shame up. That is the plan. It's 10, 11. No, it wasn't. It was 12. And then I missed 13. Then it was 14, 15. And then I can't even remember the years I won. That's bad. Um, won seven of them. I know that. Hey, hey. It's all keen for it. How you going? How you doing? Yes. Oh, all good? Excited? So yeah, we're just wrapping up here the Friday night, uh, scrutineering night, so it's been a busy one. It's um, another long line and uh, yeah, now the, uh, the the day in the office begins, so uh, we're excited. The truck's all good, uh, the reception here has been unreal, everyone's super friendly and people are lining up for hours, so it's, uh, it blows me away, but we're um, we're ready for the race and yeah, let's go full gas. I have not seen, well, I saw Duncan for about a split second, so he's left me high and dry this one, so dirty Dunk, you've let me down, mate, but we'll uh, we'll scare the shit out of you tomorrow. Let's go ride a bull. Oh yeah. <laughs> I'll stick my toe I got his car key. Ready to light the fire and spin the tires?
Warm up went great. Uh, we just did the little uh, one lap of the track and ran a GoPro so that we can go back and look at all of our footage. And what I'm doing right now is reviewing all of the footage and putting notes into the GPS that I can read to them to just reassure them that this is that turn and we can keep as much momentum as we can. There's a couple water pockets out there we want to be careful of because they might still be there in the race. So we just know whenever we go in our actual lap, we want to make sure we know that they're there. But we're hoping that all the cars before slash it all out. So we'll see when we get there. But mainly just reviewing, putting notes in so that we can go as fast as we can in the in the prologue. Ah, uh, yeah, look, it was, um, it was only the slight lap, so um, it's kind of hard to tell anything from that one. It's, uh, you're, you're traveling at 20, 30 k's an hour at some points there, so, yeah, it was like the truck feels really good. Um, no issues, no problems, and uh, we qualify at 10.45, so by the time we get on the track, it's going to be pretty much dried up a little bit. There's plenty of grip in there, but there's also a couple of little patches that will catch you out a little bit slick, but like I say, 10.45, it should change a bit, and then we'll... Um, Ready to go, so that nah, truck's good. Duncan's having fun. Um, yeah, ready to go. Letting off the throttle here. Yeah. What's the go here? This is a valuable second.
They kept saying we can't do it in the truck. We keep putting on poles. Yeah. That's three in a row. Three in a row. Well, looks like we had a good run. We played it safe. Didn't charge too hard. It was pretty slick out. Uh, he did really good taking it easy through some of the mud and waited for it to stick. And then I'd tell him, get the back on the gas so we can have some fun. <laughs> <laughs> that was good. It was a good run. We just, yeah, we took it easy through the mud and the rank just, um, yeah, with a lot of weight these, they just do drift a little bit and you got to try and catch it on the other side. But uh, yeah, everything went well. We got it by a small little fraction, but Point that's two. all you need. <laughs> so it's, um, yeah, start at the front tomorrow, which is good. So that's uh, three poles in a row and um, yeah, truck worked amazing. So it's, uh, yeah, put some 40s on her and let's have some fun tomorrow. Hell yeah. You. Let's do it. Yeah. Two tenths of a second. <laughs> Crazy. Ah, yes, for sure. How are we doing? All going good. Yeah, good yeah. to see you again. Good, good luck, hey? Thank you very much. Bye Appreciate much. it. What a morning we've had at the Tats Big Desert Race for 2022. And, <laughs> and to announce the winners for the Method Racers Prologue overall in a time of 4 minutes and 42 seconds, we have Toby Price and Jason Duncan. It's race day, y'all. Killer boots, man. It's the bunnies. Yeah. The bunnies are something different. Oh, I don't know. Bunnies are a little. <laughs> <laughs> a little bit of fun. Yeah, so today we're heading out to the track now. Uh, it's about yeah, quarter to six in the morning. Um, yeah, it's race day one, so. Uh, We'll take off at 7.30, um, basically yeah, head down the track, it's going to be a little bit fresh this morning, but it uh, should be a good run, so we'll um, yeah, just take it nice and easy and push when we can and have some fun down there, and then uh, we'll see you down the other end at Fink. Just open right this back corner. Back. Right out. That's where you were last year. Alright, awesome, thank you. Have a good run. Thank you, you too, enjoy. Well the boys uh, decided to pack up camp and move to a different spot, so it's... Uh, it's a little interesting to find your truck, even though it's quite big out here. Ew. Check out that sunset. Oh, I mean sunrise. I'm on the wrong side of the... He's on the wrong side of the world, babe. <laughs> yeah, it's day one, so um, nice early start, but we're, we're excited. you just got to be smooth, consistent, and stay on track, and, and then, like I say, just have some fun.
Hey, stop the night. See you tonight. Thank you. Oh, there was so, probably 30 birds. It, like, uh, it went up and we went straight to the middle of them. It was uh, like... And what, so... Ah, uh, we went good. Had some fun. Smooth, clean run. And I think we're down here two or three minutes quicker than last year. So, had some fun. Nothing, nothing too crazy. We might have hit a couple animals. Little small birdies, but we were we were flying. I think we averaged 85 top speed, 123. So it's good. It's fun. I would just feel sorry for the engines. Yeah. You're not sitting at the five and a half, six thousand and a half pm. They're seven and a half. Yeah. Just screaming like. Yeah, good smooth, clean run. So um, truck at the moment all looks pretty good. So just checking some data and stuff and everything and. Duncan made some pretty good damn calls in there. He was having a Yahoo and carry on, and um, yeah, as I said, we got a couple little birdies and stuff in there. And other than that, it was um, yeah, it was fun. So yeah, love driving that truck. It's good, good times. <laughs> couple of campfires and things are just thought well, someone must be like burning tires or something we were smelling like rubber and it was like is that coming from us so it was, it was nerve-wracking but we, we got here in the finish line um, crossed the finish line first so uh, 
good to finally get this man a win. Uh, yes. The third time lucky. Um, the time's a charm. Yeah, we're uh, over the moon, so he did a great job. The rest of the crew, team, everybody involved in it did it. Um, makes, makes my job easier for the weekend, so yeah, big thanks to everyone. Went good. Uh, I think I know the course about as good as him now, so yeah, now we can close. both have some fun, you know. <laughs> but no, it was good. Uh, no issues. Like he said, <clears throat> when we're coming in, you kind of, you're always, it's all in your head. You think something's going on, but it was, it was so much fun. Nice smooth run with no issues, and come back next year and have some more fun. Party, party, yeah. <laughs> so plenty of uh, Red Bulls, and we'll be good to go. So we'll, uh, we'll have our wings on tonight. Yes. Get some vodka from a Red Bull and send it. <laughs> yeah, that's all I know is that the start line is five minutes behind, and um, yeah, I basically just limited myself to about 165 or 70 kilometers an hour speed limit. So, yeah, we're good. We're here and happy and good to get this guy a win finally. So third time yeah, What did it look like from the passenger seat? Uh, so much fun. Uh, he actually let me do my notes this year. Normally he just straps me in and we go. So third time's a charm. Here we are. We had some fun and no issues. Nobody called it. Can't remember what he called. Oh, it's going down really good, not super dry. What about you guys? It's really good. We're going to spray some oh, champagne okay. here. So. I hope so. It's all I came for is spray champagne. First place, Toby Price and Jason Duncan. King of the desert. You've done it again. <laughs> <laughs> Special to come out to Australia and, and race against all these guys and, and get a win. So I'm pretty happy right now. We put a lot of time and effort into getting Toby a, a winning truck. Yeah, all the guys in the shop are pretty excited. It's it's huge for us. I mean, we we set out with a plan a couple years ago to build Toby a truck and come and win, and and that's what he does, man. So um, couldn't be more happy for him and his crew and and myself and our crew back in the states. Everyone can have my pen, you, you use it. I might have to buy you one later, eh? Nah, I don't need it. Champion, thank you, mate. Awesome, thank you. No worries, all good, thank you. Yeah, it's good. It's always good to see everyone come in here and um, they're yeah, stoked to see us. So it's, uh, yeah, it makes all the hard work and the effort uh, worth it. So. No, I can't I can't thank everybody enough for the support. It's um, yeah, it blows me away out here. So it's uh, nah, it's good, good atmosphere, good family, and uh, good friends and everything. So can't complain. Let's try to do the double A. Eh? That's a wrap. Yeah. Woo. Well, guys, that is a wrap for Fink 2022. So we've come out with a win. That's what we wanted. Happy days. Let's get home. Let's clean all this mess up. <laughs> Woo! <laughs> Good. Good stuff. That hard luck's coming around the corner, you know? Yeah, it's coming. Come yeah, it's coming. <laughs> Yeah. It's, all, it's all worth it, isn't it, man? How was your trip back? Yeah, no worries, yeah good. Mate. We had a good trip back, except for our um, a bit stony section. Took the oh, yeah. <laughs> took the mud flaps off down to the centres. Yes. Oh, mate, I'm I'm over the moon, man. It's um, you know, there's a lot of work, a hell of a lot of work goes into it all, and um, yeah, when it um, all comes together, and yeah, this champion does what he does best. It's yeah, it's fantastic, mate. So. Yeah, the little boys at the workshop, it's just not possible to do all this stuff, so it's, yeah, big, big team effort, and yeah. you know, it's, um, it all paid off. There's a lot, of, yeah, a lot involved, so. This is now a wrap. <laughs> exactly. So, I <laughs> think 2022 is now done and dust. Dad's home safe. Yeah. Now we just got to basically clean up our complete mess here and uh, yeah. get ready for the long trek home tomorrow. So, um, we'll see you guys in Fink 2023.